Tomag wiped the data banks. He purged all the information and filled all existing memory with random data. Without his data, we can't prove he knew the Master Control Facility was a weapon of mass destruction. Then it looks like we'll have to release Omag. But he is an accessory to murder. We cannot hold him long under Federation law. Fortunately, there are other laws. Oh? The laws of acquisition. Sir, requesting permission to interrogate Omag. That is not part of your training. I think it will be out of order. Sir, I think I can do it. Very well. You realize, of course, that if you violate any Federation interrogation policies or bargain with OMAG, then there will be strict penalties for your actions. In light of your recent performance, I will allow this to take place. Good luck, Lieutenant. Plasma conduits needs a retrofit. Yeah, I heard two of them did. Engineering still scrambling after the Idril rampage. And what did you expect? I certainly didn't expect Idril to roam free around our hallways. What are you talking about? The female. Hello, Omeg. I demand you release me. Let's make a deal, Omeg. Who's your customer? Sorry. Good customers are as rare as latinum. Treasure them. Rule number 57. What about the rule that says, once you have their money, never give it back? Ha! You are right. I shall keep my client's money, and his secrets. No deal. What about the rule that says only a fool passes up a business opportunity? True, but your opportunity conflicts with my last contract. Rule 9, opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Well, my instincts tell me this is a lousy opportunity. I like my current contract. Rule 17. A contract is a contract is a contract, but only between Ferengi. Contracts with other races can be honored when the profits are high enough. So, your client is not a Ferengi. <sighs> well, I won't tell you who he is. Rule 121. Everything is for sale, even friendship. If he were merely a friend, I'd rat him out right now. But he's a customer. New customers are like razorback reworms. They can be succulent, but sometimes they bite back. Rule 203. Hmm. So he's a new customer, and one you're afraid can find you. That makes him a powerful and deadly non-Ferengi with a starship. Or several. I never said that! I'm... I'm just not looking to expand into any new markets. Knowledge equals profit. Rule 74. Quite. So I'll keep my knowledge and my profits. Now stop asking.
Rule 52, never ask when you can take. Don't threaten me. You're risking a court-martial. Rule 62, the riskier the road, the greater the profit. But what about your career? I'm on the hazard team. You think I'll ever reach retirement? Please. I'm just a kindly merchant who risked his hard-earned latinum to help some scientists. After they brought you priceless artifacts. Of course. You think I'd take a risk that's not a sure thing? And you sold their artifacts on the black market, where they would be lost to history. Exactly. That's what keeps the profits high. And they say you Federation types lack the lobes for business. Oh, I understand business very well. Well, since you understand business... Help me escape, and I'll give you a Class M colony planet with tropical beaches for your retirement. Omeg, I'm charging you with attempted bribery. This is entrapment! No Starfleet officer says he understands business unless he wants a bribe. Who was your customer? He'll send those monsters to kill me. They can destroy cities. Looks like you broke a vital law of acquisition when you sold something that could kill you. I did not. Rule 125, you can't make a deal if you're dead. Wrong. He agreed to never send them against a Ferengi planet. Ha! I win. No, you just confessed. Omag, we're charging you as an accessory to mass murder. What? You knew you were selling a weapon of mass destruction. Your customer killed Atrexians on Prasjag Gamma 3. You have their blood on your hands. <laughs> but I won't tell you who he is unless you drop the charges and release me. Very well. On a planet of my choosing? Of course not. We're not a shuttle service. We'll choose a planet convenient for us. I accept the bargain. He is a captain in the Romulan Imperial Navy. Romulans? What were you thinking? I know. Romulans are usually terribly cheap. Good work goading him into confessing, Lieutenant. I believe that would be Rule 87. Learn the customer's weaknesses so you can better take advantage of him. You think you won, Monroe, but you have to release me. And I never told you where to find his secret base. Ha! <laughs> he has a secret base? Ha 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 ha! Too late. So, where will you drop me off? Ferenginar? Risa? We will release you on the next planet to be attacked by exomorphs. No! You wouldn't! That way you can inspect the results of your profiteering. Those monsters don't value latinum. I'll be killed. Isn't it the Ferengi dream to die rich? You can't. Goodbye, Omag. His name is Commander Soldok. I'll give you coordinates to his base. It's located on the border of the neutral zone just inside Romulan space. Thank you, Omag. Nice doing business with you. <laughs>